Hey guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! <laughs> it looks like I have Mickey Mouse ears on. Anyways, guys, my art room is finally ready. I love everything about this room. I mean, I love the background. I love how organized it is. And I just feel so motivated to make art today. I think I'm just gonna draw like for the whole day, making art, drawing Genshin Impact characters. I first thought it would be a one day challenge video, but it turned out to be a 24 hour challenge and you'll see why later on. This video is sponsored by Genshin Impact. Do you guys know Genshin Impact? It's like the best game right now ever. And I love the aesthetics. It's so pretty. And each character is so unique. I love the costumes. And there's just like so many different characters to choose from. So yeah, I just want to make like a lot of art today. I mean, it's been a while since I last used my Copic markers. So I want to do a lot of drawing. I also want to make like keychains, maybe stickers, and maybe more. We'll see. And since there's so many characters, I just can't choose. So here's my gotcha machine. In each capsule, I'm going to put in popular Genshin Impact characters and whatever comes out, I'm going to draw. So this video is going to be Gacha Machine chooses what Genshin Impact characters to draw. I don't know how many I'm going to draw today. Hopefully I can make more than three, four. So yeah, guys, let's get started. Drawing for the whole day. So first off, I'm going to write some characters and put it inside. I chose the most popular characters according to the internet. I wrote them down on the paper, cut them up, and put them in one by one. There we have it. And whatever comes out, I have to draw. Okay, so let's put a coin inside and let's see who we get. Wait, it's stuck. Okay. And this is our first capsule and we've got Venti. Oh, I love him. He's so cute. Actually, I love every character. Okay, so Venti. First off, I'm gonna draw using some Copic markers. And by the way, guys, if you have like an art block or like if you want to improve your art, I recommend copying illustrations. And since Genshin Impact has such beautiful illustrations, I'm going to try my best to copy it. I mean, obviously, it's not gonna be like 100% the same. I'm going to be drawing, so it's gonna be like half my style. But yeah, I think it'll be a really good warm up. So I'm just gonna choose my favorite venti illustration and just start drawing here I got my pencil and paper and let's get started and um it's been a while but I'm so ready I don't know why but I really need to start with pencil and paper although I'm gonna fix it later on digitally and I've just never felt the same even with those paper filling protectors to put on your screen Maybe I haven't found the right one. Okay, this part of the costume is a little bit confusing. I'm sorry if I don't get like all the details right. I'm gonna try my best though. By the way guys, I might take my ring off someday because I just feel like it's kind of distracting. Is it? I just feel like it's kind of in the way. Plus it's really in the way in real life. I don't know how some people could like live with it forever. I do a lot of crafting and it just gets in the way. So if you ever see it on and off, please don't mind too much about it. And here's my first draft for Venti. So this is still the rough rough draft. I'm now going to take a picture and put it into my computer to do the line art. And here it is in my computer. So now I'm just going to use some tools to quickly change the anatomy. Honestly, the pencil drawing doesn't really need to be that perfect. I fix up and change a lot by copying and pasting and resizing. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna keep on tweaking it forever, so I'm gonna stop right here. And now using this as a rough draft, I'm going to change the color into light blue. And I'm gonna go over it to make the line art. And let's start from the face. A lot of you asked in my last video where my big welcome tablet went. Wow, you guys really know me a lot and recognize some details. I'm so proud of my fans. I actually still have it and it's in my closet. The thing is, I haven't used it too much lately as I noticed that it was really hard to film and this smaller tablet is a lot easier to film. However, it's kind of funny because I actually use this smaller one like a pen tablet. When I'm filming, the camera is like right where I want to put my head. I would need to tilt my head and look from the side to see my drawing, but that position puts pressure on my neck a lot. So while I film the screen like so, I just look directly at my computer. 
That way, I get to see my drawing and the camera wouldn't be in the way. I guess this style is just like for YouTubers. It's not the best way to draw, but the best way to film. And I think I'm good. So now I'm going to change the color of his nose. Like so. Maybe a tad a bit darker. Okay, and let's print it out. I'm going to use a paper for Copic papers, and I'm going to be using this printer. Apparently a lot of illustrators in Japan use this to print out line art. And it's my first time actually using it for line art, so hopefully it works. Let's see. So you open it right here, and slide it in. And here we- That was a cute sound. And time to color it in. Guys, it's been a while. Oh, but before I color it in, I'm going to use some masking tape. I decided to cover it up because I didn't want to go over the lines. Okay, so I'm gonna need this, maybe this, and this. I'm gonna start off by using this Copic refill. And then I'm just gonna blend it away. I'm gonna quickly blend it in before it dries up. And then the shadows. Let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is an open world game. It is located in a fantasy world called Tevat. You can climb, swim, and glide, and you can now even farm and fish. There are many challenges, diverse cultures, it has amazing landscapes, and everything is just so pretty. In this world, there are seven powers, and each character has control over one of the seven natural elements. You can use those powers to strategize when battling. This game has many unique characters and a storyline which you should definitely play to check it out. So guys, hype up because the new version 3.6, A Parade of Providence is here. Their new characters, both so handsome. And not only that, Nahida, Nilo, and Ganyu is back. Their new events, Academia Extravaganza, which consists of two main parts. The Wisdom Gala and the Interdarshan Championship. Wisdom Gala has six different activities highlighting each respective school. And Interdarshan Championship. Champions will be selected to represent their school in a large competition. Okay, we're not done yet. There's also map extension. A whole new area will be added to the game. This area is located deep in the desert in the northwest of the desert of Hadramaveth. And there's more. There's a new boss, Iniquitous Baptist. If you've never played before, I highly recommend, and if you have played before, let's get hyped. It's time to play Genshin Impact. Lastly, I'm gonna color in his cape. Maybe this, this. I'm just gonna use like circling motions to color in the big areas. And I think that's it. I'm just gonna cover up this spot with white. <laughs> I don't think I could cover it up, but like, it's okay. Uh, this part's bothering me. There are so many tiny details. It actually took me like four hours to finish. So yeah, I don't know how many I can draw today, but hopefully I can draw like two more. So venti check. Let's move on to our second drawing. And here we have the gacha machine. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like a spider right there. Where did it come from? Yoshika! Yoshika! One minute, 37 seconds later. Anyways, let's move on to our second character. And... Second capsule, we have Hutao. I love her, she's so cute! Didn't I just say the same thing for Venti? Oh, I love him, he's so cute. I mean, I love the overall look and the ghosts. Good choice, good choice. So Hutao it is. Okay, I encountered a lot of troubles during this drawing. First, the sun. Okay, the sun is kind of bothering me now. I guess I need to put curtains on my other window. But for now, let's see what I can find. Okay, much better. I have two windows in this room and both didn't come with curtain rods. I put one up for the bigger one, but I guess I need to get another one for the smaller window. Then, it took me a while to come up with the pose. I started drawing her like this, but then after a bit, I was like, nah. I wanted to draw a different pose where she's actually interacting with the ghost, but then I noticed that it was weirdly similar to the first drawing. I mean, look at the hands and the pose in general. So then I was like, nah. And then went back to my first drawing. Since I went like back and forth a lot, it took me a while to actually finish the rough rough draft. I'm not entirely happy with this yet, but it's okay. It's still the rough rough draft. Let's go to the computer.
And lastly, the mark on her hat. It's so complicated. Um, it goes like this, like this, and like this. I think I got all the details. So now save and print. My hands all cramped now. Been holding onto the pen for so long. Oh wait. And lastly, I want to add her ghost. <laughs> I love his facial expressions. I'm just gonna make him look all fuzzy. Like so. So now let's go over the printer and print. So this, hmm, what color is her hair? It's like reddish brown. Okay, and this, not bad. And I'll figure it out as I go. So as always, let's start from the face. Her skin is really light, so I don't think I'm gonna color it in. I'm just gonna use the background. I don't know what color I should use. The hard part about Copic is that sometimes you don't have the exact color. I mean, you could mix colors together and make your own marker, but sometimes you want this like certain color for the smallest part ever. What should I do? Where did you come from? Hi, I mean, I'm not scared of you, but I appreciate if you're not on my Copic markers. Oh, I forgot to add this part for her socks. She has like this flower thingy on her socks. So let me quickly add that. I even forgot to add some small details and at the end, the camera cut me off. So I didn't even film the whole thing. So many problems, but it's okay. It happens sometimes. And this is how it turned out. So I just checked my footage and um, guys, this took me a really long time. I was just so focused that I didn't notice that it was out of focus. And at the end, it just cut me off. Well, um, it's done. <laughs> so first drawing and the second drawing. And both of them took a pretty long time. So now it's 8 p.m. at night. But since I'm a little bit tired, I'm going to take a break. And then I'm going to try one more drawing. I don't know. I don't want to like end right here. Let's take a break from Copic markers for a bit. And let's make like cute accessories and DIYs. So here's a shrink tank. Let's try making little keychains. Can you guys see it? It's transparent on white. So it's kind of hard to see, but it's right here. And now I'm going to use some Posca paint pens. So here we go. By the way, I think I forgot to explain, but I decided to draw some slimes. By the way, you can use Posca paint pens for shrink inks, but you need to be careful not to use too much ink. If you use a little bit too much, it'll start cracking. Oh, these slimes are so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to see because it's like white on white. Okay, much better. And like the little squiggly lines. And the eyes. And here we have one. Let's make a few more. <laughs> um, that's a little bit too much ink. Okay, easy fix. In the little designs. There's two. Okay, one more. And now I'm just going to use scissors to carefully cut around them. You need to be very gentle with them because they're very fragile. And because I want to make this into a keychain, I'm going to make a hole on the top. Like so. And let's carefully cut around the hole. So here's one. Oh my gosh, my hands. Look at my hands. And next, I want to make the hole off to the side of it. So there's two. And the last one, I forgot to save some space for the hole. So I'm just going to cut around it. Let's make this into like a pin or something. So now let's go to the oven to bake it. Hi 
Lovey Chung. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Number two. And last one. Ta da! I'm going to connect this onto here. And here we have a keychain. Oops. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. I kind of want to make more. <gasps> Let's make Paimon! I'm going to draw her as a chibi character. Kinda looks scary right now, but don't worry, I'm still working on it. By the way, in English, Paimon calls herself Paimon. In Japanese, she calls herself Oida. Oida is a way to call yourself in Japanese, but it's really weird. I don't know how to explain it. There are many ways to say I in Japanese. I say Watashi. Boys normally say Boku or Ore. And Oida is like a really... I don't know how should I say it. It's weird. I've never seen anyone use it before in real life. Or like, I don't know how to say it, but it's not common. Just a cute fun fact. And let's go to the oven. Okay, that was a really fun and cute DIY. Okay, I think I'm done DIYing stuff. Let's go back to the Copic markers. Okay guys, one last drawing. I'm using this cabinet because my desk is a mess right now. There's like Copic markers everywhere and everything. Let me go to the back and get some coins. Here we go, last one. And So this is going to be our last character and it is going to be Ayaka Kamisato. Nice choice. Nice choice, gotcha machine. Um, it's currently actually 11 p.m. right now because um, I just had dinner. <laughs> so today is almost over, like literally. So this is definitely going to be the last drawing of the day. Honestly, if I were to cosplay as one of the characters, it's probably going to be Ayaka Kamisato. It's honestly so funny how my before and after is so different. Like, it's 1-11 right now. <laughs> Make a wish, guys. And then I called it a day. And it is the next day. I actually went to sleep. And there's a few reasons for that. I was really, really tired and I was like, it's past 1 a.m. and it's time to sleep. It's never really worth it to do anything before health. If you're tired, go to sleep. Plus, you're not going to make good art when you're tired. And secondly, I noticed that I forgot to erase her eyebrows. And I think that's one of the most important parts of her face. Like, she's supposed to have heavy bangs. I had to restart anyways. So now that it's the next day, it's more like a 24-hour challenge now. So I shall call this video 24-hour challenge video. Anyways, I went back to my Wacom tablet and reprinted it and now it looks like this. Her eyebrows, it makes such a big difference. So I'm glad I'm kind of starting over. Plus, I didn't like the color of her hair. She's supposed to have these like pastelish colors. And I don't think any of the Copic markers going to give that pastel look. So that is why I'm going to be using some watercolor. Let's get to it. I've been interested in watercolors a lot lately. Copic markers are definitely very easy to use and I love them so much, but the colors. You can make any color that you want with watercolors. You can blend colors together and make it slightly darker or lighter. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I've been following many watercolor artists, but I'm still a noob. Hopefully, I could improve a lot more this year and learn new techniques.
this is how they turned out. And I didn't expect this to be a 24 hour challenge, so I'm kind of tired. Hmm, what do I think? Okay, to be honest, the goal for this year is to draw more. Not necessarily for videos. I want to start drawing more for fun and I want to improve. So I'm kind of like looking around for like art schools and like art classes. That's my goal for this year. So this was a good starting point. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Genshin Impact for sponsoring. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!